The theatre has made the pier very popular with visitors. Anybody coming to have a little look on the pier is interested in the theatre and vice versa. So for instance, if we have visitors of in excess of 500 into a show on an evening or an afternoon, that brings them onto the pier and then they obviously see the benefits of the views and the crabbing facilities and just the general unspoilt uh, views of the North Norfolk coastline. The station has been at the end of the pier since 1923 and obviously as uh, technology has come on we have uh, built a bigger and better station in 1998-99 and we now have a Tamar class lifeboat on the end of the pier which is one of the bis, uh, biggest uh, vessels that the RNLI have in their rescue fleet. Um, the pavilion didn't actually get built until 1901 when it was originally a bandstand on the pier. So you would come to the end of the pier and it would be a covered bandstand um, and the original seats for that are still incorporated in the building as it is today. It was then um, extended to reduce the amount of seating available um, but to add the cafe onto the front of the auditorium and then later on uh, the balcony was built in order to boost the seating capacity up again. The evening in December just before Christmas um, we had a very strong sea surge on the North Sea and along the coast. And caused untold damage, especially to the land end of the pier where the waves were crashing against the seawall and rebounding so that we were having a double effect. The sea walls were destroyed. We had long lengths of solid concrete washing down the promenade. The restaurant and the shop um, are still out of business even 14 months later. The Christmas show was only closed for one week uh, and everybody, the council and the uh, contractors who were repairing the pier at the time and the staff and locals managed to get the show back up and running after, after seven days. So the show really did go on in the face of adversity. Yeah.